Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And tonight I have another Let's Build video for you. This time it's gonna be the Boromite Matriarch. Uh, I'm really excited for this kit. This is one of the kits I've been wanting to put together for a long time. Uh, it come, basically comes with a, uh, as you can see, a Matriarch on a suspensor platform, one Gildas, and two Weapons Drones with plasma carbines. So these weapons drones have little plasma carbines in them. It's pretty cool. Matriarch sitting on a suspensor platform and a Gildas right there. Uh, this is used for the game Beyond the Gates of Antares. It's a Warlord Miniatures game. It's uh, science fiction. And uh, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is show you the tools. Then we're gonna get to building it and I'll be right back after that to show you what it looks like all put together. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, there you have it. There is the Boromite Matriarch uh, for the Boromites <laughs> on a suspensor platform. Um, <clears throat> just a quick couple things just to show you what I did. I put a, a, a giant washer on the bottom of the base. And the reason why I did this is because of tip overs. Now I learned this from my Virai for Beyond the Gates of Antares to put uh, so uh, a washer uh, down on the base itself with a big enough hole to fit the uh, um, the flight stand there. Now, normally I would not glue flight stands uh, for painting purposes, but you can wrap some tape, some painter's tape around that uh, when you actually paint this up and you can still spray and paint and stuff like that. And you won't have to worry about getting on your clear base there. But that does solve your problem for things getting knocked over with these uh, real thin plastic bases. You can find a washer with a large hole in the center uh, to glue down onto the base it's first, uh, self it's first. Um, another thing I did um, on the underneath, uh, when I was gluing it, I held it upside down, uh, let it dry for a little while, um, and then finally flipped it back up here. Um, obviously you want the glue to dry long enough to where it's sitting in a certain spot. And I've kind of got them, kind of got the suspensor platform, as you can see, kind of a little bit forward, uh, on the base. So you can actually see the matriarch and she's pretty badass. Uh, let me show you what she looks like here. Pretty awesome. Can't wait to paint it up. It's going to be really cool. Uh, and then you got your two, um, oh, what they call them? I forgot. Plasma carbines, uh, weapons drones with plasma carbines on them. Um, I glued them to the to the base itself. I clipped off, like I was saying, I clipped off the um, the plastic flight stand so it wouldn't be so long. And it would actually, uh, the further you cut it down, the thicker um, that uh, small piece is. 
uh, on the end. Um, that way it'll fit in the hole. Uh, always uh, a lot tighter, but always, um, you know, uh, test fit them first before you put them on the flight stand there and just put some dab of glue let it dry for a second or two and then uh, put it on um, so the gildess not much to her um, she's one piece which i love there's a little flash i need to clean up uh, i can do that right now just one piece of flash and that's a lot of these kits they really don't have a lot of flash on them you really got to look hard to find it uh, if there is any at all um, on these models itself uh, that was the only piece between her bottom cape part there. Um, so that's the Guild S. So there you go, there's the Bor Boromite Matriarch, and uh, we'll show you some pictures up close. Um, and uh, that's all I got for you guys tonight. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend, please spread the word. I really appreciate it. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and I will catch you in my next build video.